Well, by now, I'm sure we've all noticed that AI is popping up everywhere, but is this new technology dangerous? Amanda Faye sat down with one expert to answer that question. And these days, we know artificial intelligence is everywhere and is being used in everyday life more and more often. But it's not always for the good. This afternoon, we have Toby Brown, the founder of American Special Investigative Group, to talk more about the potential dangers of AI. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me on. So first of all, let's talk about deep fakes. We may have heard this term. We may have heard it used around celebrities and pictures circulating. Explain exactly what a deep fake is. Sure. So a deep fake is essentially, it's a fake image. It's fake content. It's when an individual fuses together different mediums of, of information, of images, for example, to create this, uh, this then fake image. So it's, it's generated by using generative AI. And it looks super real. So, you know, somebody might be scrolling through, they see something, oh my goodness, Taylor Swift that or, or whatever. But so how can this deep fake, how can they, that be used to become a bully online? So cyberbullying, it's not a new concept. It's been around since the internet, really. But uh, the rise in AI and the rise of this, techno this access to this generative technology to create these images um, has really made it very simplistic for the average individual who doesn't have a background in, in internet and cyber uh, in content creation. Uh, and they can just go out there, go on the internet, and get on one of those platforms and essentially uh, create any sort of content that they want. So it's it's not a new concept, but the, the rise in AI and the accessibility to these platforms has, has just made it uh, extremely prominent. Yeah, so we're seeing it really everywhere. So what, I mean, is anybody doing anything about this? What are federal, state officials doing to help stop this practice? So there's been, uh, quite frankly, I don't think enough's being done about it. Currently, there's only 10 states that have legislative um, uh, uh, actions um, put in place uh, to combat this. So it's sort of tying the hands of law enforcement, both federal on the, and also on the local level, uh, for them to be able to do something. Um, I also think there needs to be more talk about um, these platforms, such as social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, where this content's being spread, where these platforms have to do more to police that and really stop this content from spreading like wildfire. And we've all seen it, you mentioned Taylor Swift, I think her, uh, I mean, it's got um, millions and millions of, of views before that image was ever taken down, and that can't be. And it's really destroying lives. It's really, it's a, uh, it's an epidemic, especially now we're seeing it with the, some of the most vulnerable in our society, where you have kids that are, um, you know, their their um, information is being put out there. Um, a lot of child pornography that we're seeing. Um, so it's really on the rise, and um, I, I definitely... I know law enforcement wants to take action, um, but unfortunately until our um, legislative powers, both on the federal and state level, are taking more action, their hands are gonna be tied. Right, you know, that's kind of how do we create some laws, get these things on the books, you know, because right now it's, a, you know, cyberspace, you know, how do you police that? So, and, and you mentioned, you know, Taylor Swift's photos, you know, they get spread everywhere. Well, she has attorneys and, and a lot of money, you know, resources to put things to a stop, you know, quicker than maybe the average person would. So what can our viewers at home do to protect themselves? I, I can't even imagine how devastating it would be to see our image, you know, pop up on social media somewhere and it's just not us. Absolutely, I'm glad you asked that. So first and foremost, understand that everything you put on the internet, every single text message you send with a picture, any sort of content, anything you upload on any platforms, anything you put in an email, it's out there. And, and a, a nefarious actor can use that information, can obtain it, whether you're not a person or not, and to then create um, you know, fake information and deep fakes and really use it uh, you know, in, a, in a cyber bullying capacity. So be very aware of what you put out there. Um, I also think it's important that we have to really vet any information we see independently, especially, um, and this also uh, ties in with the election coming up. Um, I believe there is this insidious uh, equality um, between misinformation uh, and, and AI so, you know, with the election coming up, we have to really rely on reliable sources 
um, as to what we believe that's on the internet. And the same goes for any content, obviously. You know, we have to just vet everything independently and, and you can't believe what's on the internet. Mm -hmm. Great advice this afternoon because, yeah, you know, you may have kids and you're taking their pictures and you're putting them on, you know, all over social media and then suddenly your kid is, you know, their photos are everywhere for the rest of their lives. As you mentioned, when you get stuff out there, it stays there forever. So we got to be careful about what we're picking and choosing to, to put out there for the world to see. And then also, as you mentioned, as we're scrolling through and we're looking at things, maybe use our brains a little bit and say, huh, actually, I'm not sure if that's actually real and maybe do some research before we continue to spread that information. Exactly. Yeah, it's very, very important. Always, uh, you know, it's it goes back to trust, but verify. And, and if something doesn't look right, it probably isn't right. So always, uh, always do your independent research. And, and I think that's in today's day and age, it's becoming more and more important every day. Well, great advice. Thank you so much for talking it through, uh, talking us through it today, Toby. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Thank you. Absolutely.